Hi. Tech Rabbit, here we go. I thought I um, could do some unboxing. Um, have a look at our, my um, larger power supply I purchased. Um, this is actually quite interesting. And this is going to be... Um, I actually just was debating if I should buy a new power supply when I'm upgrading all the other equipment in the, in the PC. Um, you can see my posts on on the um, Facebook page for the channel. Um, I have some uh, thoughts also going over those components in um, separate videos. We'll see. The uh, yeah, so actually I actually yeah shelled out and bought this. So the 700, I think 750 watts will be enough. And this is a fully modular power supply, and it has a very good power rating. It's um, 80 gold. So um, yeah, uh, power consumption wise, uh, when it's consuming 750 watts theoretically, then it will actually not lose so much of that in um, terms of heat. Yeah, so I thought we'd just have a look and see what this package contains. And um, as it looks now, I think I have a bit of a problem with the camera setup. This is such a big package that I can't really fit it in. Um, Connector-wise, pretty standard stuff. I just did a unboxing video of the um, smaller uh, version, real basic model, uh, Corsair uh, VS650. But it seems like this has pretty much the same connectors. That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> this is this is cool. Look. I haven't been buying PC equipment for quite a while, but um, look, it's, this one still has a floppy connector, floppy power supply connector. What? what? Even even me, who's not considered to be keeping to the latest, latest and greatest PC tech, I don't not have not used a floppy drive in years. Still have a CD ROM driver. CD, what is it? CD burner drive. But I actually don't know. No, I haven't actually used it like, at all for years. But anyway, that's beside the point. It won't fit in the picture. Like whatever one does. So let's open it up and see what, what it contains. Uh, yeah, it's a bit more luxurious packaging than what I found it. <laughs> Look at that. That's at least it's trying to um, convince you that it actually has in Oh, it's actually got um, a little bit more technical. A little bit like technical specs and stuff. Well, probably. Nobody will read or investigate that. We'll see. But, ah, yeah, yeah, you see now. This was a. Wait a second, this is a bit more than twice the price. So, I can actually see the. Just want to show the basic. Ah, maybe you didn't do a very good job of setting up. Okay, now, now you can see it pretty good. Yeah, felt. Ooh, that's cool. Look, can you see the cables are nicely packaged in a separate box? <laughs> Luxury. Wonder what you get when you buy the thousand more. It's even more expensive. So, okay, we have the mains cable, and again, European model. Oh, look. They've, uh, in addition to the screws, they've included tie ties, and that you didn't get with the cheaper this drying pad. And 
has usual coarse air quality for the higher end modules. Actually get a felt package, felt bag. It's actually quite nice to have this felt bags. These are um, good for storing other stuff. Um, let's see now, what should we do first? See, this is where a modular power supply is actually quite not a completely modular, and, and that's why I bought this one for the PC upgrade. Oh, it's got a warning protection. Uh, let's check. Let's see. This is just the felt bag. Look at that. It's even got, even got nice lining in the inside. Well, these are actually very usable for after. After the situation, use use it for something else. Okay, and then we have the basic model, and it was this warning thing that I wanted to check. What's it saying there? Sound operation. How to moderate loads in the mode the fan will not spin. Okay, so it's is it trying to tell people uh, because um, in some power supplies you put the power supply on and then the fan starts up and it just runs this um, no no uh, RPM there's no speed control of the fan so <coughs> you always hear it. Then there are some power supplies where <coughs> you have <coughs> limited rotation speed control where the fan will start up and then it will ramp down to a minimum level of spin so you still have the situation where if the power is on then it's always spin and then some power supplies will cut the power will take away the yeah uh, not rotate the fan even if the power is on so some people get a bit scared when um yeah when you have this size of a power supply and you're basically running it on um, underloaded I don't know exactly what kind of a situation you have. Why would you buy a six, 750 watt power supply if you're not using it? Um, but let's say you took it out of the bag and you want to test it. You you, you jump start it, usual pin trick. And and then the um, fan doesn't start. Or it, it starts up and then it goes dead. Then you might think that, oh, it's broken, the power supply is broken. But this is not the case. So. But it's, I suppose, good to have good to have that warning I suppose for people that don't realize this ah oh, this is really heavy that's actually hard to hold up to the camera and it's quite a, I don't know if you can hear that but that's a solid structure not that it matters but um, yeah what can I say looks clean electronics can't really see in there I mean, you would expect from Corsair that it's well built. And then here you have the all the connectors. Wait, turn it around the right way around. And then here you have all the connectors for the um, modular cables. As you see, it's clean. You know, you, if it's it's nothing nothing connected when you start. So then you can actually look at what you have in your PC and then. You go into this box, and then you can select. Oh, those are quite nicely made. I mean, I know there's like lots of custom sleeving and stuff you can buy nowadays on, online, but I must say I think these these are quite nice cables. So that's the normal 24 pin, and actually it looks like you can connect this up to a. Let's see if I can. That's um, for those that are familiar with PC. That's just normal. So we'll put them out there. That's for the main board. Twenty-four pin, and then that's probably for the CPU. I would expect. Uh, 
Oh no, I don't really understand that. No. Okay, have they divided it up here? Let's see. 24 pin ATX. Okay, here's the one you plug into the motherboard. But then on the power supply side, they divided it up into two connectors. And then you plug it in, in here, into those two outlets. That's even more than 24 pins. And that's a bit strange. I mean, not that we care. I mean, they can connect. I mean, th this is this is also one um, slightly an annoying feature about modular power supplies and a very strict warning to anybody that's dealing with these. I'm just actually going to emphasize that. When you're dealing with modular power supplies, remember, each power supply and connector is custom for each manufacturer and even for each um, power supply model. So don't, don't um, take a cable from one modular supply and use it on another one, another brand. Never do that, because you're going to blow up something. So the cables need to be kept with the power supply. <laughs> Sorry I make such a big deal about that, but I've actually gone through three, or been involved with um, three modular power supplies. And um, yeah, it's not cool when one doesn't realize that they're not, they're not um, standardized. So as long as one keeps the uses the cables that came with the modular power supply in question, one is safe and one is, takes a bit of a risk of fun. So that's just SATA, lots of SATA things, and they're relatively long cables, so I think that could probably fit them into. Ah, they do have, look, that's the legacy connector. And it's PCIe. Oh, it has a few legacy, and it's for the other PCIe. I think it says that, doesn't it? Oh, CPU, okay. Extra CPU power. Ah, now here's the same. Yeah, okay. There was on the other power supply too. If you have an older, I mean, you won't buy this for an older system, I wouldn't think. But if you do, then uh, if you have a very old, if you have a relatively, yeah, well, let's put it this way, an older motherboard, then it will only need a four-pin connector for the CPU. And here, the, you can divide this. You can pull this apart. You see, there's its gap. It's not that, um, like, uh, it's probably in the manual, if you read the manual, which nobody does. But you can split that into two parts, so then you get two times four connector. So then you can connect in your four pin connector as, as was intended, and that's a legacy. So actually I could have, you can buy this for, it looks like you could could have bought this for an older computer because this seems to have a relatively relatively good assortment of cables that could also work with um, with a computer that has legacy hardware. Aha! But then you see the floppy drive. <laughs> the ancient floppy drive power connector is actually an adapter. <laughs> okay. Now, loads of PCIe variations of course. If you have different types of graphics cards, they use different types of connectors. So that of course is its own maze so I won't go. But it, I mean it seems to have like really lots of... Um, so I would feel relatively confident that one would be able to um, wire up most, most PCs. Now what you do have is an issue with any kind of a 
I mean, nobody does it anymore. I mean, well, not very often anyway. You putting multiple graphics cards in the same computer, then uh, you st you still might have to use the power supply dividers to get the uh, power s power fed. But this is a nice box. But um, please keep the cables with the power supply. And don't use the cables with an out of power supply if you're not 100% sure that they will actually work because the pinouts are not the same. But I think this is gonna be this is gonna be a nice power supply. And I was thinking of an 850 watt, but I mean this is 750 gold, and I don't. Uh, I have a medium mid-range. I'm gonna have a mid. What well, it would be considered a mid-range con uh, configuration. So I think that. Uh, Yeah, it has to be a little bit balance of loss of. If you if you um, oh how can I say? If you would buy a one thousand two hundred watt power supply and only be consuming on average six hundred watts, then uh, in some power supplies, running that kind of a very sort of misaligned uh, power size compared to what you're actually using can actually be that you don't get the power factor you, you don't get the efficiency that they, they rate for the power supply so it's actually quite good to have like I, I usually say like you know buy a sub power supply um, that's like 20% more than you need power and then you just or the next step up you know like so I was thinking I'm not really happy with 650, so 750x gold standard probably. I think that will be, that should be that should be okay. Well, I'm gonna always buy a new one if it doesn't work. But no, this this will work for the um, PC upgrade project. I'm quite confident of that. And then the thing is that then I only need to for my for the PC upgrade. I really wanted to go fully modern because I kind of like that concept. Oh wait, I'll just show this rating. If somebody's interesting to know the ratings then you can just put pause the video and take a look at the numbers, let's get it in focus. There I think it's good enough now. So at least you can get some idea of the of the performance. I mean usually I don't go through the uh, the amp ratings for each rail and because I don't have any special configuration in the PC so I don't have to be worried about not having enough amps on the 12 volt rail or whatever so and I don't gonna do any serious overclocking so so I think that uh, right way around. learn marketing <laughs> um, what else does there say nice rigid construction Nice clean design. A bit strange with this um, so-called 24-pin connector, but that's bad. Whatever. I don't know why they did that. Not really. That's not really a, a, an issue as such. And um, I'm expecting it to go be quiet. I'm not going to run any tests, live tests on it right now. But I'm, ah, I'm expecting it to be. Um, Flawless, and I'll be making some more videos about the about the upgrade, PC upgrade process, possibly other components that I'm going to use there also. I did post, uh, uh, I made a post on on the channel's Facebook page, so if somebody wants to get some pre pre heads up as to what I had selected as components, but this is the power supply at least. Yeah. Oh, no. I think we can call it a day on that one. Hope this review helps helps somebody. Talk to everybody.